great thing about economics is it all starts with the very beginning. Everything has value. Wrong. Nothing has any value. First mistake. Nothing has any value at all. Uh, this has no value. This has no value. Nothing has value. And the reason is that the value doesn't reside in objects. The value is in the mind of the person who looks at the thing, who thinks about the thing. We're all different. We all have different minds. And that means we all value things differently. Hey, we're different. Once you make that mistake of supposing this thing has value, you then ask a really stupid question like, how did it get its value? Wrong question. And if you ask the wrong question, guess what happens? More often than not, you get the wrong answer. You suppose that the value of a thing consists of the labour it took to make it. That's the mistake that Karl Marx made. No, you can put as much labour as you like into the thing. Guess what it's worth if nobody wants it? The answer is a big fat zero. It's worth nothing at all because value has to be based on demand, not on production. Because value is up there and because we're all different, we all value things differently. And that is the reason why trade takes place. We trade things because we value what the other person has more than the stuff we've got ourselves. And the very first caveman who said, oh, I like that skin, look, here's a bone hook I've made, let's trade. He wanted the furs more than he wanted the hook. The other guy wanted the hook more than he wanted the furs. So who got the better of the bargain? Wrong question. Nobody gets the better of a trade bargain. You only do it because you value what the other person has more. That is how wealth is created. The guy that gets the furs has something more valuable than what he had already, the bone hook. The guy who gets the bone hook values it more than the first. So a trade has taken place and both of them have got something more valuable than they had before. People commonly say, who gets the best of the bargain? And the answer is, both of them do. That's the whole point when you trade. Each gets something of greater value. There isn't a winner and a loser. It's a win-win. They have both become wealthier. They have more value. That's the whole point. So wealth is created because the value isn't in the object, it's in the mind. And that, my friends, is the story of human progress. Madsen Perry attempted to prove once again that economics is fun.